Hello and welcome to this video in which we will explain type 1 and type 2 errors in the context of hypothesis testing. In hypothesis testing we have a population that has a parameter that has a value that is unknown to us. So for example our population might have an unknown mean of a parameter. And in order to make decisions about what this parameter is we create hypotheses. And almost always we create hypotheses of the following form. One hypothesis, h0, the unknown mean is equal to some value mu0. The other hypothesis, h1, could be the unknown mean is not equal to mu0. Again, mu is the actual value which is unknown to us. And what we want to decide is if mu0 is the value of the unknown mean. To make this decision we collect data, maybe values x1, x2, and so on through xn, and from the data we compute a test statistic which is typically z0 or perhaps t0 depending on the test, and from this test statistic we make a decision whether we think h0 or h1 is true we can represent this decision process in terms of a table. On this side of the table we have what is actually true. Is H0 true or is H1 true? On the top of the table we have what we decide. And again this is a decision we make based on our observations. We can decide to accept h0 as being true, or we can decide to reject h0 as not being true. So clearly, if h0 is actually true, and we accept h0 as being true, then our decision is correct. Similarly, if h1 is true, and our decision is to reject h0, in other words, accept h1 as being true, then again, our decision is correct. If H0 is actually true, but our decision is to reject H0, then we've made an error. And we call this error a type 1 error. And finally, if H1 is actually true, but we decide to accept H0, then again we've made an error. This type of error is called a type 2 error. In practice, the way we do hypothesis testing is we set up H0 so that we can compute the probability density of our test statistic z0 or t0 when h0 is true. And then we can use this probability density to find the probability of a type 1 error. So we typically structure our decision rule to give us an acceptable probability of a type 1 error. So this concludes this video. I hope you understand better now what type 1 and type 2 errors are. Thanks for watching.